Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of my tutorials for Collins Company. Today we're going to be doing the Metro and the Pilot jobs. There is still the Yacht job but that will have to sort of be put on pause until I actually get access to the Yacht. So as before we come into this lobby area and we grab the Metro job which is there doesn't have a weird name, just normal Collins Co Metro. And another odd aspect about this job is that we have to use the default uh, Metro. We have no special Collins Co Metro like we do with the train. So we're just going to have to use the normal one. Which means we go to the normal Metro spawn. So that's where we're going to be heading now. And then once we've done a route in the metro, we will come back to the HQ, change ourselves to Collins Co Pilot, and then we'll do a either one or two stops in the Comet, depending on our sort of time frame. Now, as I said before, I know that most people, in, if you're watching this for the purpose of actually doing it and you're in Collins Co, I imagine you're going to have quite good knowledge of the game already, but just as a little tip, it is quite advisable to bring a motorbike for this because you can get it down and into the metro system without having to run down there, which saves some time. We're almost there, okie dokie, so we're going to head into the metro. make our way to the spawner. So this is a bit confusing at first, it definitely confused me, but when we go to the spawner, if I get on it, there we go, we spawn a train, we have to just spawn a normal metro. Depending on what your level is, I imagine you can just get whatever one you can use. So I'm just going to get that one as I'm level 30, so I can use the 25 Metro. And we're going to head towards that red train symbol on the minimap because that's where the job starts. And we will start our job as a Collins Co Metro. Now, the Collins Co Metro is essentially just overriding the public metro. So it's exactly the same in every way. You just get Collins Co vouchers for it rather than metro train conducting vouchers. So this is going to be very simple. We have quite a lot of stops that we have to go to. So this might take a little while. Hopefully it won't take too long because I would like to keep the two jobs in one video but obviously if it takes me half an hour to do these two tutorials I'm not going to keep that as one video that's just a bit too long and I don't want to bore people so if that's the case this will be split into two videos and if not then we will be able to get it all in the one There's someone else doing Metro. I imagine he's doing the standard Metro rather than this one. Right, pulling into the next station. Same system as before, you can use the handbrake once you're slow enough to stop completely. Just for a bit of help, because these trains, it's very hard to get these trains to actually stop unless you use the handbrake. Unfortunately, there isn't much to say about the Metro job. It is literally just a case of going from stop to stop. Get this one out of the way and then we can move on to the plane, which is a bit more interesting and obviously more different because this is just a carbon copy of a standard Metro route. 
but the plane system is fully fleshed out and unique to Collins Company. People were talking about the housing crisis on GTA there. It's getting a bit too real on this game sometimes. They all want to buy the cheapest houses and they're all full up. So. Right, this next stop looks like it's quite far away, which is a bit annoying. Luckily, the house that I bought on here was not uh, completely full up, probably because it cost like 8 million or something like that. So, not many people are going to bother to spend that on a like house, because they don't really do much. But I thought, why not? So, picked up our next one. We're, well, we can't really ever say we're halfway, because you don't get 0.5 of a station. But we're almost halfway. Oh, there's one, and I missed it. Not by too much, though. We can head back. There we go. Pick up our passengers. The camera's always a bit fiddly in here. This tunnel's a bit too small to have a third-person camera. We could switch to first for this. The uh, graphics leave a bit to be desired, I must say. But this will do for the purposes of the video. Coming up to our sixth stop, I believe. Three more to go after this. Gonna stop here. I do apologise for the loud keyboard as well. Unfortunately, this microphone is extremely sensitive and it can be quite echoey if it's too far away from me so I have to keep it near me which means keeping it near the keyboard luckily I actually play the game with a controller so you don't have to hear constant tapping on the keyboard as I move around but there is going to be the odd bit station number seven Hopefully with this uh, route will finish us above ground and then I can just jump out, jack a car and head back to the HQ. Well, we're above ground for this one. Oh, that's one of the businesses I own. That would have been good if we could finish here. But, oh well. Let's head on to the last station. Looks like, actually, being in that direction, it will be quite close to the HQ, hopefully. Can we see on the map? There it is. So we're stopping there. HQ is there. That's not too much of a trek. I'm pretty sure all the houses have storage. Don't know why I'd need to ask where a specific one was. There we are. Our route is complete. We've gotten our bonus for completing the route. And that is it for Metro. As I say, it's very simple. Just... And there we go. So it despawns as well once we get out. Nice. Don't want to leave a big mess. That car has left me in its dust. God damn it. Oh, I'll have to get one of these. And we're going to head over back to the HQ so that we can get the plane uh, job, I guess it would be. Plane career. 
And then once we have that, we can head over to Los Santos International and start a route. Now the plane system, as I say, the plane system is very different. It's very different from all the other Collins Co. jobs, and it's very different from the normal plane job. With the, as I'll obviously go into it more when we're there, but with the Collins Co. plane job, it's actually randomised as to where you're going to be asked to go. So you need to be sort of ready to go anywhere, and you also have to wait when you're uh, boarding passengers which adds a little bit of a time gap to each route, which can get a little bit irritating, but I guess it's to stop you earning the uh, vouchers too quickly. Now we're back in the garage again. We can grab the flying, the fly boy from uh, the lobby. And then it's back to Los Santos International if I can avoid face planting. Oh, fantastic. Right, don't know what vehicle to use. Let's go with the Deluxo, see if we can save some time by flying. We'll get out of here first though, as there's a big overpass getting in the way. Right, let's head to the airport. Oh, looks like we've got someone in the chat not using air traffic control as well, so we're going to have to watch out for them. And as you can see from the chat, there is a lot of ATC being used at the moment because there's a lot of planes around. So we're just going to have to keep an eye out. Heading over the stadium. That's another quite useful business to have pays out quite nicely for its cost, as does the one at Los Santos International, actually. I really do need to pick up my businesses, I keep forgetting to do it. Hopefully eventually I'll get the uh, bank, because if you get the business for 500 million, because it's nice and cheap like that, there's a bank up in the north of Los Santos that you can buy, and it doesn't earn anything but you can get all of your business bonuses from that one location which is massively useful for sort of infrastructure but as it doesn't earn anything on its own it's probably one of the last ones you want to get now we need to use the comet which is undefined name please report as bug but as the owner of the server is the owner of this company I would imagine he knows about that so we're gonna spawn in the comet make sure Oh, I guess he wants to land. Get out of the way for him. Now, as you can see on the mini-map, a red version of the airline symbol has appeared, which is where we need to go to board for our passengers. So that's where we're going to head. Keep an eye out for any of these other planes flying around. Now, this plane is a bit of an odd one to fly. It's got pretty terrible handling at low altitude so with this plane you have to get about 1500 feet preferably above the ground for it to then start performing like a normal plane rather than trying to plummet out the sky constantly you can see the turning rate on it is fantastic as well so please excuse me while I take half an hour to do this U-turn there's the circle, so we can start our work as a Collins Co. pilot, we need to stop in the circle, and as you can see in the bottom left, we have to wait 60 seconds before we can go. But it's already telling us our destination is Pacific Ocean, which is just perfect as that's one of the busiest airports, that's going to be a bit annoying. But that's where it's asking us to go, it's 4000 meters away, we know where it is, it's over here. Now the symbol for it won't show up until we're boarded, so that's why there's nothing there yet. You can see from the uh, radar just how many vehicles are around just Los Santos International, let alone the whole map. 
There's helicopters and planes everywhere. So this is the bit of the mission, as you can see. This isn't very interesting. You literally just sit here for a minute doing nothing until it lets you go. There we are. The route, the wait is over. We are now en route. The symbol has appeared at Pacific Ocean. That's where we need to head to that red plane. So we're going to get on the, or get ready to go on the main runway. Oh, he brought that in a bit flat. Seems like most people in here don't realise when you're landing a plane you're meant to flare the wheels so that it doesn't just hit the ground like a stone. But I guess with GTA physics that doesn't really matter. So we're going to get on this runway. People were praising his landing. Hmm, I don't know, shrimp. That looked pretty flat to me. Where's he going? Is he trying to make my video take longer? Come on, shrimp, out the way. We ain't got all day here. Right. Let's head off. Up we go. We're going to try and gain as much altitude as possible. As I say, we want to get up to that 1500 feet mark so that the plane will start behaving correctly. Don't know why it does this. It's not a common feature for the planes. Most of, with every plane, you want to get them above 800 feet because that's when the speed limiter disconnects and you can actually go at the plane's correct top speed. But with this plane you need to get even higher just to make it fly nicely. But we've done that now, so we'll line ourselves up to head to Pacific Ocean. Now you can see, without me touching the controls, it still is quite nose down. It doesn't like to sit level. We are drifting downwards. But we're going to... Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, this is about half of what it would do below 1500 feet. And at that point, you really do have to constantly keep pulling up, and that gets quite irritating. It looks like there's a lot of traffic in the air, and that jet over there is going to get down there before us, so we're going to have to use the side runway. Well, he's nose diving it in, but so are we. <laughs> right. Call out the landing so that no one else quickly slips in and crashes into us while we're trying to land. Now this plane gets quite difficult to control with the wheels down. But, there we go. A little bit of a flare, came in a bit hard to be honest, but again this plane's not the nicest to fly. We'll uh, try and get down here if the turning rate will let us. Come on. It's a shame as well, because the Comet is actually one of my favourite planes. But on this game, it just does not fly nicely. So we're going to head over to our boarding zone. And that is essentially all there is to it for a plane. And planes get the most vouchers, because of all this waiting around and long distances. So a plane will earn you the most vouchers. Deliver our passengers. See, we've got 60 vouchers for that. We also get airline XP and business XP. No money for this, obviously, like all Collins Co. jobs. But that is everything you need to know about the Metro job and the airline job for Collins Company. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe for more tutorials on Transport Tycoon for 5M.